Say hi. Hi. Welcome to my video. Can you say that? Yeah. Video. <laughs> so, hi guys. In this caterpillar corner, we're going to talk about what Claire read and how. <laughs> Five hours later. Hi guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about what Claire read in October. And we're going to do it in our jam. <laughs> So I think I read four or five books to Claire in October for Halloween. And the one physical creepy book that I do have for her, we could not find the whole month. It's like a bear theme, bear's book. And then I ended up finding it after. And I'm like, the main book that we have physically with us, I can't find. Don't know where it went. So all of the books that I read to her, I read to her off of Hoopla. So Hoopla Digital is completely free. It's given to you through your library. It's just a free service that's offered to you. All you need is a library card. To get it, it's completely free. You can have ebooks, audiobooks, movies, um, TV shows, and uh, also they do uh, music. So if you want to download like a whole album, you can do that if you want. You get eight credits per month, and even after you, the only thing is, even after you are done reading one book and return it, you still don't get a credit back. So you can really only check out eight books a month or eight titles a month. So just be careful how you use those eight titles a month. So the first book that we read in that. October is the ghost go scaring and I this is a favorite this was a favorite round I thought it was really really cute it, it goes it kind of goes with how the ants go marching one by one but they change ants to ghosts and it was really cute it was a really cute book I thought it was really cute I laughed while I was reading because I'm like this is just the cutest thing ever and I want to buy it and add it to her to her collection because I just thought that was like the cutest thing because I had never heard of that and did you like that book yeah, did you like it? Okay. The next book that we read in October is Count Candy Corn. And that book I did not like at all. And she wasn't really interested in it either. By the cover of it, I thought it was going to be something like for her age. But it really wasn't. It was more of a book for like older kids. Like maybe 10. Maybe. And even then, I still didn't like it. Like I really still didn't care for it. It, it wasn't anything that really got me kind of like interested and I had already started reading it so I just kind of finished reading it because I already started it and already used uh one of my credits for that month so I'm like we're gonna read this but it just it wasn't something that I would get in this it I don't know it just wasn't one of those things that I enjoy then we read Curious George A Haunted Halloween and this was a favorite of ours that I really enjoyed I haven't read a Curious George book in a long time so I really enjoy reading Curious George I like the little adventure that it went on I think it was um George and his friends trying to trying to uh, see if this ghost story was real or not and I just enjoyed it like it was fun and the whole time she was calling George a dog, like a puppy, but I'm like, baby, that's a monkey, not a puppy. So I enjoyed Curious George. Curious George is gonna be getting more reads from us in the future. Then the last thing we read was the five minute Halloween stories collection. I'm gonna have to put the picture up because I know there's different, like there's different ones that's like five, five minute stories. That's what it's called, five, five minute stories. And this one was ha um, Halloween themed, but it is a it's a Disney based book, and it follows five different like Disney characters for Halloween. We only read the first one, and I think that one was following Hero. And again, I thought it was gonna be something for her age range, and it really wasn't. It was kind of more of a little bit of older kids, not as not too old, but not for a two year old. So we weren't really, she wasn't really interested in it. So I'm gonna say that we that was a no for us last month just because her attention wasn't really on it. And I myself didn't really care for the hero story myself. Like I didn't care for that one either. I've never even seen a movie for him. I wanted to see the hero movie, but I, I just I've never gotten around to seeing it. But that story, I just I, I didn't really care for that one either. It really wasn't that interesting. So out of the books that we read last month, we had a 50-50 good reading month last month, right? Okay. So this month, I don't not really sure what we're gonna read this month. I'm still looking around. It's usually just a I don't usually make a TV off for her. It's usually just like a, a pick and go kind of thing. Like at the it's in the moment it's an in the moment kind of thing with her it's that that's why i really do wrap up videos for her i don't really do because i don't plan out what i'm going to read for her that much it's just what am i in the mood to read to you so that's all we have for this caterpillar corner 
Um, I hope you guys got some good suggestions from the two books that we that I that we did like last month. And even the ones that, that didn't really go with us last month, that's fine. I just think it's because it was for an older crowd and not catering to a two-year-old. And I think that's why I didn't like it. But if you guys have any suggestions for Kalea and I to read, that would be great. Just leave it in the comments below. I'm always looking for new books to read to her. And yeah, thank you guys for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. A light. <laughs> yeah, the light. A light. Mm -hmm. Wow, the flowers you